Hello everyone, and welcome to my Cap Throw Analysis video. A question that often comes up in the Super Mario Odyssey community is how much more quickly you can jump after motion controlled roll cancels. I spent some time researching this and other related topics, and here are my findings. Let's start off by taking a look at just a normal single throw and observing its parts. At this frame, Cappy has reached his maximum distance from Mario. Notice how he has become larger and there are no longer any yellow swirls around him. At this point, he will remain at his maximum distance from anywhere between 22 and 122 60 FPS frames, depending on how long you hold Y or X. This range of time Cappy spends at the maximum distance is the same for every type of cap throw. What varies, however, is how long it takes Cappy to reach this maximum distance. In general, single throws take 34 frames for Cappy to fully extend. However, if Mario is in midair while performing a single throw, it will only take 30 frames for Cappy to extend. Double throws Single throw MCCTs and double throw MCCTs take 29 frames for Cappy to extend, regardless of whether Mario is on the ground or in midair. Triple throws and triple throw MCCTs take 16 frames for Cappy to extend. Since Cappy is large the whole time, we have to go off when the yellow swirls disappear and when the MCCT begins to flatten. Up throws take 24 frames to extend and down throws take 57. Here's a summary of what we've discovered so far. Now we can finally take a look at the age-old question of how much quicker you can jump after a motion control throw. After a single throw on the ground, whether it be standing still or in a roll cancel, you can jump exactly 13 frames after throwing Cappy. Observe how the first frame you can jump is the second frame in which Cappy is pointing straight ahead of Mario, because this will become a pattern. The first frame you can ground pound after a single throw is the exact same frame you can jump. After a mid-air single throw, you can ground pound or dive after 9 frames, or 4 frames quicker. Notice a pattern? A mid-air single throw took 4 fewer frames to extend, 30 instead of 34, and consequently you can ground pound or dive 4 frames quicker. The reason for this 4 frame difference in both instances is because that key frame I was talking about before, the second frame in which Cappy is in front of Mario, comes 4 frames earlier when Mario is in mid-air. Double throws, single throw MCCTs, and double throw MCCTs took 29 frames to extend, so it should come at no surprise that you can jump after 8 frames, or 5 frames earlier than after a single throw. You can also ground pound or dive after 8 frames, or 1 frame earlier than after a mid-air single throw. Up throws, down throws, and spin throws are all the same as double throws and MCCTs, allowing you to jump, ground pound, or dive after 8 frames. Being able to jump 5 frames earlier saves time in many instances, such as when performing a roll cancel or water bounce. Note that since double throws are just as good as an MCCT, motion controls are not strictly necessary for this time save if you can perform a double throw. Also note that double throws are impossible in water, so for water bounces you'll need a motion controlled throw. There are also several instances in which being able to dive quicker after a cap throw is faster, such as cap throw diving after warping to a checkpoint, or just diving earlier before a cap throw bounce. Triple throws and triple throw MCCTs, which were the quickest to extend, also offer the opportunity to jump, ground pound, or dive after the least amount of time. You can perform any one of these actions three frames after throwing cappy, which is 10 frames faster than a single throw on land or in water, 6 frames faster than a mid-air single throw, and 5 frames faster than a double throw or motion control throw. So if you can pull off a triple throw, you can save even more time. Another interesting implication of this is that I was always pressing jump on the same frame as I was triple throwing, 
So the fact that Mario jumped three frames later means that you can buffer jumps for at least three frames. We also know that the buffer window must be shorter than eight frames because pressing Y and B on the same frame for double throws did not produce a jump. There happens to be one catch, which is that you have to wait longer before ground pounding after walking or roll canceling off a ledge. I'll get to that later. As you probably suspected, the number of frames before you can home also varies from throw to throw. For a single throw on the ground or in water, you can home Cappy after 24 frames, or 10 frames before the throw reaches its maximum length. Keep in mind, however, for this throw and for every other one, that you may want to wait longer to home if you are trying to capture or collect an object that is far away, since Cappy can still travel a ways toward the object in those 10 frames. For a mid-air single throw, you can home Cappy after 20 frames. Again, this is 10 frames before the throw reaches its maximum length. Double throws, single throw MCCTs, double throw MCCTs, and up throws can all be homed after 19 frames, or one frame earlier than a mid-air single throw. This explains why MCCT is slightly better for trick jumps. It also means that you can home five frames earlier when on the ground by using an MCCT, which explains why MCCT is faster for collecting the first rocket flower in Mushroom Kingdom Koopa freerunning. You can home a triple throw or triple throw MCCT after six frames, making them faster by a wide margin. Here's a comparison of the frames before homing for the four groups of throws we've discussed. Finally, you can home a down throw after 27 frames. This is almost never optimal, however, since the point of using a down throw is to reach an object far away. Note that if you throw Cappy at a wall, he will stop and become large significantly earlier. This also means you can home him in much earlier on the same frame in which he becomes large. Another difference between the throws is how quickly you can crouch or roll after them. If you perform a single throw on the ground, you can crouch or roll after 24 frames, which just so happens to be the same amount of time after which you can home. If you perform a single throw MCCT, on the other hand, you can crouch or roll after 19 frames. This means that you can save 5 frames in late clip by throwing Cappy with an MCCT instead of a regular cap throw. Now here's where things start to get different. After a double throw or double throw MCCT, you have to wait 34 frames until you can crouch or roll. This is because Mario can only begin to crouch after his spinning animation as he throws Cappy completes. While Mario spins around only one time while performing a single throw, he spins twice when performing a double throw. You can crouch 44 frames after a triple throw or triple throw MCCT, because the spinning animation for a triple throw is even longer, as Mario spins around three times during it. If you up throw or down throw, you can crouch 28 frames later. It takes the longest for Mario to crouch after a spin throw, or 46 whole frames. Sorry for bringing you out of the lovely seaside kingdom for a second, but I wanted to demonstrate that you can crouch 23 frames after a mid-air cap throw if Mario can land quickly enough, which I was able to cause to happen by jumping on a moving platform as it went up. For some reason, this is the only case in which the crouching interrupts the spinning animation. Don't ask me why. Also, remember how I mentioned that the ground pound timing is delayed if you walk or roll cancel off a ledge? Well, from my testing, I found that you could ground pound or dive one frame later than you would have been able to crouch for each type of throw. Here's a summary of all the different timings we've gone over. One last thing to note before I sign off is that throws behave differently if you have a rocket flower. This video is already long enough so I won't go over the changes in detail, but the time it takes for each to extend changes, as well as the minimum time Cappy stays at his maximum length. The times before you can home also change, but I was not able to gather conclusive data. You can still jump after the same number of frames as before. 
I hope you have found this video informative and you can use the information within it to shave some frames after Super Mario Odyssey speedrun. Thank you for watching.